Hello guys, this is Alex the Grumpy One and I'm making my first video on the repair on my Audi A3 1.9 TDI they've just bought. So the first video I'm going to make is the replacement and diagnostic of the rear wiper unit. Which my wasn't working, I know it's the unit. It's quite a common issue on them, but I just want to run you through a few steps before replacing the motor, what you need to do. Now the first step obviously will be try and see if it's working. So you need to make sure that your boot is shut because if it's not shut, it's not going to work anyway. So you need to make sure it's shut and obviously try turn the ignition on and start the car up and push it forward. Obviously, if it's not turning, if it's not going around, then there's an issue. And usually when it's not going around, you're going to find out that your jets are not working because usually what you get, the jets get blocked in and it just builds up rust and stuff inside so it seizes up the motor and it just dies pretty much that's what happens so the first thing i want to do is to show you obviously like you so like i said you turn the ignition on shut the boot try the wiper it's not working so the first thing will be to check your fuses which is the easiest way to fix and fault but i just want to let you know that the fuse box in the audis are here behind this cover and the other fuse box is in there under the bonnet there so it's quite easy you just push them take the cover off and check the fuses you need your log book or just look up for your model which fuse it is because in every model the fuse is slightly different location so that'll be the first thing just get the fuse out and look at it see if it's broken or burned if that's all right then you can progress to next step which is pretty much getting into the wiring if you have got multimeter you can ask someone to operate it and check the voltages in your plug which you can see there four wires but the most common thing like I said they do seize up that's the old unit that I just removed it's genuine Audi while I'm here, I just want to show you when you're looking up on eBay, if you're going to buy one on eBay, which is what I've done, 22 quid, it's not too bad. Or you can buy it from Euro Car Parts or from Audi. But what you need is obviously that number there, 89955711E. I know your one might be slightly different, but that's what I've got. I just typed that number into eBay and it came up with new part which you can see I've already fitted it on what I want to tell you is how to obviously do it first thing you need to remove this cover from your wiper as you can see that's the wiper unit and the cover is going to be on there it's quite easy to remove just a few plastic clips on it you just pull it off pretty much that's the first thing then you're going to need 13 mil socket to remove the nut oh sorry my mistake guys first you need to remove this little plastic splitter that you got there it goes into the wiper on the end of the nut which is your jets for this for the screen wash that just comes off just get a tiny screwdriver and just slowly push it off don't just break it off just try slowly get it off of there that's the first thing then you're gonna have your 30 mil nut and my advice obviously as i know i had to buy this tool which is the wiper removal or the battery leads removal you can buy them on ebay for like eight quid this is a very handy tool and you do need it for all the wiper removal because all the wipers are going to be stuck on so what you do with this you obviously get this when the nut is on you get it behind your wiper unit as you can see the nut is going to be on there you get behind your wiper unit, grab the wiper, adjust it, and then start turning this clockwise, and you're gonna start pulling the wiper off. You can spray some WD-40 on it, that will help. Like I said, you get it behind this. Sorry guys for filming it like this, because I only got one hand to do this. So you get it behind the wiper motor, uh, the wiper unit, and then you just obviously adjust it to catch behind the plastic, and start turning this. And it will pop it off so that's the first thing to do 
Then you need to take this cover off, for which you're gonna need plastic tool or a screwdriver. So pretty much you just need, they pop off. That's all that holding it in and two screws. I'll show you the screws. They're gonna go in there. There's one screw there, one screw here. Get T20. That's what you need. It's a T20. And there's a the screw. So it's nice and easy. Once you're done them two screws, you can get a screwdriver and just slowly pop all of this off. Just walk your way through. Some of them might get stuck in the holes. So you just need tiny pliers to pull them out and just place them back in there. Good job, you're gonna need it to put it back on. So after you've done that, you're gonna have three 10 mils. You got one there, there, and there. They're just 10 mils, they're quite easy to remove. Then you're gonna need to remove this. This clip comes off, so you just push them in. That black little clip, push it in, and that pops out. I'm gonna show you now. Push it back, that will come off. There you go. Same to put it back on, put it on. Just squeeze it in, and job done. So obviously I haven't bought this one on yet, I only got one not holding it. It was just to test if it's working. You got this little plug, which is the only thing that holds it is them bits on the side. So you just pull them out and pull the plug out. As you can see, it's a locator plug. So you got two cuts there, you can put it in the wrong way. So that's all good. So obviously once you put a new unit in, Make sure you bolt it on correctly. Double check how it looks like on this side. And then you need to put the wiper. Make sure it's in stop position. The unit in stop position, because obviously the wiper is gonna be facing this way. So get it kind of aligned. And then put the wiper back on. So pretty much everything in the reverse order. Put the wiper on, put the nut on. Don't forget to put your tool back in. Make sure it's clean. And that's pretty much it guys. You put the cover back in, put the screws back in the cover, shut the door and try the wiper. And I'm pretty sure it will work because if your fuses are good, the only other thing it can be is the motor unit. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching the video guys. And like I said, I will be making more videos on this. You can also request me to make videos that you want on this type of car 1.9 TDI don't forget so if you want anything specific please do ask me and I'll try and do it even if it's some silly things I don't mind so yeah guys if you enjoyed the video please subscribe share my videos and like them and like I said ask me questions request videos and I'll be there to help you out thank you so much for watching guys and have a nice day bye